Hi there, welcome to my videos on elementary differential equations. This is video number 5 for chapter 9 and the topic is partial differential equations. Let's get started. Previously, we studied heat equation with the homogeneous boundary condition and also with different types of boundary conditions, meaning that um, Dirichlet type and Neumann type, where the function's value or its derivatives are given to be zero. And uh, in this video, we will look at um, the case where um, the boundary conditions are not homogeneous. Okay, so I would also like to recall we also studied um, the steady state of the heat equation. Okay, so now let's look at the new problem where, um, to begin with, let's look at the Dirichlet boundary condition, but non-homogeneous. So here's the equation, the heat equation, and here are the boundary conditions. So I put those in red to show that that's the change here. So they are given as Dirichlet condition, but the temperature at zero x zero is fixed to be a and the temperature at um l is fixed to be b so here a and b are two constants um possibly not zero let's begin with uh, um finding out the steady state which uh, we will see soon is very important here so the steady state capital u of x will be a function doesn't depend on time and uh, the second derivative in space is zero and satisfying the two boundary conditions at zero is a and l is b so we know u will be a linear function it's a straight line connecting the value a and b at x equals zero and x equal l so we can probably um write this function out um immediately we know how to write the equation of a line so it's here and now here comes an important um, step so instead of solving studying this u here satisfy this boundary condition we're going to define a new function let's call it w is defined as um, the function u of x and t minus the steady state capital U of x so we extract the steady state from the solution u here and call the remaining part w so why we do that well that's because w has many nice properties okay so let's uh, differentiate w so w differentiating t would just be u differentiating t because that doesn't depend on t and then w x x would just be u x x and then capital u and second derivative and then this is zero because it's a steady state then we just have u x x now remember u satisfies the heat equation so you can um, replace u t with w t and u x with um, w x x and then you see that w actually solves the heat equation so w solves the same equation as u so what is it different from u well the boundary conditions will be different so let's check at x equals zero um w zero t will equal u zero t minus capital u as zero so that's the boundary condition for u at zero which is a and for capital u as zero which is also a then we get zero so probably you see where we are going okay um, next check at the point x equal l the boundary condition for w will be the one for u minus the one for capital u which is b minus b and then it's zero so we see that the boundary conditions for w are homogeneous and therefore w solves the heat equation with the homogeneous boundary conditions which um we already know an, a way of solving it and uh, we know the formal 
solution in terms of Fourier series, which is obtained by standard separation of variables. So one can carry that out. And then once this is done, the W is obtained, one can go back to U by simply adding up the W with the um, steady state to obtain the solution U. Now let's take an example to see how this can be carried out. Okay, we look at a heat equation, standard heat equation with C equal 1 here. And uh, we have a non-homogeneous boundary condition. So here A will be 2 and B will be 4 and then L is 1. And then initial condition is given. Um, that is 2 plus 2x minus a sine pi x and minus 3 sine 3 pi x. Okay, so the steps here are a little bit different now. We first find the steady state as we have discussed, because that's important. So the steady state will be a capital U, U double prime is 0, and U at 0 is 2, and U at 1 is 4. And then one can um, easily write out this uh, U, which is uh, 2 plus 2x. Okay, So that's the steady state. So let's call your attention to an interesting part. For the initial condition, we see that the steady state solution here is actually part of it. It has it in here as the first two terms. Second step, let's now um, define this um, function w as we discussed. It uh, will be the solution of the heat equation with homogeneous boundary condition and uh, adjusted initial condition. Okay, so we'll specify that. So W satisfy the heat equation. And then um, the boundary condition and the initial conditions for W now are different from the one for U. So the boundary conditions are now homogeneous. And the initial conditions is now um, the initial condition for U minus the steady state. So removing the first two terms in this initial condition for u, we get the remaining two terms, which is the sine pi x and then sine 3 pi x terms. And then this is the standard problem where we already know what uh, the formal solution. Let's just write out. It's written in terms of a, a sine series with an exponential decay in space, where cn's are constants determined by the initial condition. Now let's fit in the initial condition wx0 set t to be 0. It can be written as a Fourier sine series here and it has to match the initial condition which contains only two terms um, sine pi x and sine 3 pi x. Then we see that um, this is a term matches when n equals 1 and this is a term for n equals 3. So we see that um, this initial condition here is already a Fourier sine series. So what we need to do is just to match the coefficients of Cn's. So we see that C1 here will be negative 1, which we write here. And then C3 here will be negative 3, which we write here. And uh, all the other C's will be 0. OK, we can plug this back and write out the solution for W, which will contain only two terms. One term is for n equal 1. We get C is C1 is negative 1, and this is pi squared t. And the second term is uh, when n is 3. So I have 3 pi x here, and then negative 3 squared, which is 9 here, and C3 is negative 3. Okay, so once that is done, we can just put them together and go back and get the solution of U. So the U solution would be the steady state plus the solution of the um, homogeneous problem. And putting what we have got, U is this function here, and then W is this function here, and then we have an expression for the solution of that heat equation. 
Okay, so that's all I want to say on heat equation and uh, various situations of different type of boundary conditions and homogeneous or none. And uh, next video we will have a discussion on the general application of the separation of variables and then as a preparation to study other types of PDEs. Okay, so um, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.